Hi and welcome to the video on the three principles of experimental design. Okay, well I'm talking about these uh, principles because I want to make sure that you're very comfortable with the terms before we get into act the actual explaining of the experimental designs that we actually do. Um, it's very important because uh, these three principles have to be incorporated in any exper experimental design to be valid okay to get valid results from it okay so the first one is control and and basically what this means is that that we control sources of variation okay other than the factors being tested okay so we control sources of variation other than the factors being tested how we do that we make the conditions similar in all in all treatment groups let me write treatment groups out in all treatment groups okay so so if you're having trouble seeing this you have uh, you have the units here and then we have a treatment group and then we have another treatment group okay now the treatment group uh, consists of the factors so it should be factor one factor Two. Now the thing that the thing that should change the response or that produces a response or a change should be these factors. Okay? So other than these factors, we want to control all of the other variables. Okay? All other variables should be the same. Because we don't want to get done and then and then we had a big change in our response and we're not sure if it was from the factor or from another condition that wasn't controlled okay or uh, th another condition that wasn't made similar okay and next is randomize and this randomize is very very important because what this does is this will equal out this will equal out the effects of unknown or uncontrollable sources of variation or I'll just say factors unknown factors or uncontrollable factors okay so some factors um, are very difficult to control. See, if, even if you make uh, all the conditions similar, okay, there's still people, there's still people with, um, say, genetics. Okay, these are things you can't control. Um, if, it's, if it's a plot of land, it may be the soil. Okay, it's very hard to control you know the soil so, so you know sometimes okay so this equals out the effects and basically what this means is here I'll show you an example say you have a hundred people okay and we have uh, two factors we have two treatment groups treatment group one and treatment group two by the way this is how I do treatment TX okay so what happens out of these a hundred people um, 40 might be have genetics could be a factor okay so let's call this drug one and drug two so if I have these 40 that have genetics is a factor that could reduce okay whatever I'm measuring now now here's the problem pay attention closely I do not want all these 40 people 
in here because think of, I'm gonna have 50 people here and I'm gonna have 50 people here now are these 50 people I don't want 40 of them to be these people okay because that could that'll um, it'll change my results I'll have bias it'll systematically either increase the results or decrease the results because I have these 40 people in here that the this treatment this this drug is not the only factor you have genetics so what I want to do is I want to have these 40 people I want to have 20 of them here so out of these 50 people 20 of the people with the genetics problem is here and the other 20 is here and that will happen if you randomize so what happens is yeah there's a problem here but the problem is also here too so it equals it out okay so we could look past it we could look past it it would be a problem if all of them were in one of the treatment groups but since we're randomizes it's going to equal out the effects because they're happening in both okay so replication Okay, so basically replic replicate just to m means that um, we need many subjects or subjects slash units in each treatment group. Okay, so so replicate actually can mean uh, two different things. Um, one 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 is this way. Just so, so within each treatment group, we we don't want, for example, if if I have this same study. Okay, I don't necessarily want to test like say eight people and put four here and four here. Okay, it's just not enough replication. We need more. Okay, this will reduce our. Uh, more people were able to reduce our variability okay so I'll write that more units reduces our variation same concept is like flipping a coin I mean if you flip a coin four times okay you could easily get four heads okay so there's a lot of variability there but if I flip it a hundred times then it kind of evens itself out another replicate is to is basically just perform perform the experiment again maybe in a different part of the country but this is the first one is the one you have to pay attention more to okay we definitely want more people within each treatment group okay Okay, so that's the three principles. They have to be in every single design, okay? And the next video, we're going to be talking about the designs, okay? Um, there's three of them, and I'll do each one separately. So thanks for watching.